Hey guys, welcome back to Vanguard Motor Sales. I'm Greg and I'm standing in front of a numbers matching, original build sheet, original color, 69 Chevelle. You're gonna love checking this one out. So go to the website at vanguardmotorsales.com. We'll put it on the lift so you can see just how nice the bottom side is. We're gonna fire up the motor. We're gonna get out and drive it. We're gonna take a look at the numbers. We're gonna show you the interior. We're gonna show you inside the trunk. We're gonna show you everything you need to see so you can make a great decision on your Chevelle investment. So come on up and we'll fire it up for you right now. So check this beauty out, man. That paint is very, very unique, and it has got some fine metallic in it, and the painter that sprayed it did a beautiful job. Now the chrome looks good, the grill looks great, headlight bezels look awesome, the hood fits nice and flush also, all the lines are nice and straight, it's nice and flush here. Just a beautiful restoration on the car. Wheel lip moldings look good. The white stripe going down the side, that's a sticker and it also looks good. We've got the uh, SS wheels on it looking great. The badging all looks good. The door's nice and flush here. That line's nice and straight. All this stainless is nicely polished. This line also looks good. The door's lined up nice. Door opens nice and smooth. All the lips here where that outer skin is wrapped over to the inner door, um, all looks beautiful. All the paintwork looks good. The rubber's been replaced. The door panel looks good. Uh, the armrest looks like it was recovered. We got good looking chrome here and here. These look original to the car, by the way. The carpeting looks good. There's floor mats in there. Steering wheel's in good shape. The dash itself's in beautiful shape. It is a bench seat car, and it looks like there's three seat belts in the front, and it looks like there's three seat belts in the back, too. So you got six passengers in this baby. Um, package tray looks good. All the trim around the back window looks good. Shoulder belts are still there. Sun visors are in good shape. Dash pad itself looks great. This is one beautiful car inside and out. And take a quick look at the door jams. I always look at the door jams. Anybody that spends that much time refinishing a door jam, you know they did a beautiful job on the rest of the car. Paint work is straight and smooth as can be. Now the uh, tail light bezels here, they look original to the car. They don't look like they're brand new, but they're in beautiful shape. 1969 right there, guys. Now the chrome does look new. All these moldings here look great. The SS badge also looks good. Inside the trunk here, all the gutters are nicely painted. The uh, bottom side of the deck lid looks good. The lip here also looks good. We've got a spare tire in there and a jack. The rubber's been replaced. Just everything about it is just drop dead gorgeous. Wheel wells are nice and solid. Looks like I've got original numbers here. All the paintwork here looks good. Now look down the side of the car. She's straight as an arrow. Can you imagine how many hours it took them blocking this thing out? It takes a lot of work to get a car this straight, guys. They weren't this straight from the factory. Now at Vanguard Motor Sales, we're not consignment dealers. That means we own this Chevelle. Right now we've got about 230 cars in stock and we own every one of those cars. We bring in about 40 new cars every month and I'm involved in that process on every car. So what that means to you is you're getting my 35 plus years of experience in the hot rod industry helping you pick out your dream car. All right, let's take this 69 numbers matching Chevelle for a ride. It's got that uh, original paint out there, man. Is it cool? I tell you what, this Chevelle is sweet, guys. 69 model with the numbers matching and a build sheet and a unique color. I tell you, love it. 
Now at Vanguard Motor Sales, we can ship this baby anywhere in the world. You just give us a call at 248-974-9513. Tom will tell you just how easy it is to park this baby in your drive anywhere in the world. If you want some help with financing, we got you handled there too. We got bankers we work with on the financing. It only takes about a 15 minute phone call or you can fill it out right online on our website at vanguardmotorsales.com. Now Tom answers his phone 24 hours a day practically and he does answer it seven days a week. Call him anytime. If you don't get a hold of him, he'll call you back, leave him a message. Now, down here on the dash, you can see the speedo's working. Looks like the gas gauge is working. I just had the blower motor on, it's working. It's got an aftermarket Kenwood radio. I heard it making some static. Um, windshield wipers are working. Now, we would love to have you come out and visit. We're real close to the airport here, only 20 minutes away from the airport. And if you do fly in, you need a ride, give us a call. We'll come on down to the airport and pick you up and we'll show you our inventory. So don't forget, we're bringing in 40 new cars every month. So that means a little over one a day, guys. So we've always got something cool coming in. So make sure you keep an eye on us. A lot of these cars are selling after just a few days on the market. So if it's something you're interested in, make sure you don't hesitate. Give Tom a call, get that car locked down so we can get that dream parked in your driveway. Now we don't get a lot of visitors because we sell about 90% of our cars sight unseen. But we do love to have guys come out and check out the cars. We're actually here on Saturdays also. So if you want to road trip it in, just call Tom, let us know you're coming. We actually have two facilities. We got about 80,000 square feet under roof where we've got the 230 cars we have in storage right now. Now this is our shop here at 15100 Keel Street. Now we, um, we're gonna do something nobody else in the industry does. We're gonna put this up in the air so you can check out the underside. Then we're gonna pop the hood and take a look at that numbers matching motor. All right, we're underneath this 69 Chevelle now, and man, she is pretty under here too. You can see the uh, trunk floor looks beautiful and it's been coated, it looks good. Uh, the frame's also been painted up. We've got some resonators here on the exhaust. It looks brand new. Um, gas tank also looks like it's brand new. Uh, we got right around the 331 and this 12 bolt rear end. You can see it's got all the paint markings on it, the, all the inspection marks, all the paper tags, the tag's still here. It is a posi in there too. Um, even got tags on the springs here. Now the brakes, the guys will pull those all apart, make sure they're in good working order. You see new bushings here on the uh, reinforced uh, lower control arms. It does have the extra brace just like the SS should. Dry shaft's been nicely painted. Floorboards look amazing in the car. They are solid as a rock and they've got fresh paint on them. Fuel line looks like it was replaced at one time. It doesn't look like it's brand new. Definitely not original to the car. Brake line also looks like it was replaced at one time. It is a numbers matching uh, turbo 400 trans. And I forgot to tell you on the, uh, the casting date on the rear end does make us think that it's original to the car too. We do have disc brakes up front. Looks like we got new ball joints, top and bottom and the bushings look good. Uh, again, more inspection marks on here. Steering gears all in good shape. Core support looks good. Uh, front frame horns are nice and straight. Again, a couple of things that I look at on every car. You take a look at these front frame horns, you can tell if the car had ever been in an accident. And the core support's one of the first things to go. Uh, dirt and stuff sits down inside there and rots those out and it's a little thinner metal than the rest of the bottom stuff here. So it's a real good indicator on the shape of the car. Chrome on the front bumper's beautiful right down to the bottom edge. Now let's look at those wheels and tires. Great looking set of uh, wheels on here. The paintwork looks good. Lug nuts are all chromed up. Center caps look brand new. Trim rings also look good. We got two 2570 14s up front. That wheel lip molding is beautiful. I always try to feel around on the bottom side of these fenders. Again, this is a little ledge where stuff would catch. So if that little ledge is nice and clean, more than likely the whole fender is nice and clean. And the pinch weld is beautiful. Also check the low areas in the frame here. And that frame has got nice paint on it too. Let's look at the rear. All right, out back here again, two 25 70 14s. 
Uh, wheels are in such the same good shape, so are the center caps and trim rings. These uh, lip moldings look good. I also feel this lip right here. Now, I can feel that this lip has been rolled, but it's still nice and clean there. That looks like the original inner wheelhouse with the original quarter there. I don't see any evidence that that has got a problem whatsoever. Somebody probably just put some wider tires on it at one time, they rolled that lip up. And again, look at that pinch weld. Look how beautiful that is. You can still see all the spot welds in it. That tells you this car is solid. Let's look under the hood. All right, under the hood here, we've got exactly what you'd want to see. The numbers matching 396, three and a quarter horse. Uh, it is the correct casting date and it is numbers matching. We have verified and we have seen the numbers. Uh, the chrome valve covers look good. It's got the correct exhaust manifolds on it. It's got the correct intake manifold on it. It does have the numbers matching carburetor on it too. Even the uh, air cleaner here looks original and all the heat tube stuff and uh, all the parts here that are usually long gone on these cars are still on this one. It is originally an air conditioned car. The evaporator box looks like it's in good shape. All the lines look like they're in great shape. Um, it is a power brake car. It is a power steering car. Uh, cross flow radiator here. We've got still inspection marks all over it. Uh, we've got brand new uh, fiberglass here. It's even got the light underneath the hood, but unfortunately that's not working. Um, great looking, looks like a brand new battery here. Inner wheelhouses look good. I see inspection marks on the crossbars down here on the upper control arms, and it does look like it's got some brand new shims in there, so it has recently had an alignment. They even got GM markings on the heater hoses here. Guys, this car's amazing. We've got all the docks, we've got all the records. She's numbers matching. It's a real SS, it's a 69, it's a badass collar. Give us a call at 248 9 I'll say that again, 248-974-9513 and let Vanguard Motor Sales park this stream in your driveway.